Hi everyone, Renee here. Looking for a 30 minute rebounder workout, then you are in the right place. Put on your favorite music and meet me up on the mini trampoline. We're going to begin with the basic bounce. Feet are hip-width apart and parallel. You have a soft bend in your knees, hands on your hips, find your core engagement, navel pulls up towards your ribcage, tailbone is heavy, everything is pulled in tight here in your midsection, and just begin with your basic bounce. Okay, so you have that soft bend in your knees, you're squeezing your glutes, your thighs, you're actually thinking of squeezing your muscles this entire workout. You're going to get so much out of your rebounding workout when you really put the mind to muscle connection. So I want you to think of squeezing and pressing into the trampoline all of your muscles in your body, especially your core and your lower body. Okay, so this workout has three circuits. Each circuit has four moves, and we are gonna complete the moves for 45 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of active recovery. Each circuit we are going to do two times through. You will then have a minute break, and then go on to the next circuit, minute break, final circuit, okay? 30 minutes. During that one minute break, that's when you can grab a set of water or you can stay in the rebound with me and I am going to box or shuffle, which looks just like this. My hands will be on guard and I'll also be shifting my weight from side to side. So you could do this during the minute break. You could come back to the basic bounce during the minute break, get a sip of water, whatever you need. You have one minute break between each circuit, okay? So remember, in the basic bounce, the balls of your feet are pressing into the rebound and your heels are just lifting ever so slightly. And that's where you're at right now. Bring your arms on by your side. Take a deep breath and arms to go overhead. And exhale, do that again. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, you're just getting warmed up. You're getting ready to go. Okay, so a couple of the moves you will be coming off the trampoline. So I just want you to make sure you have space. We'll be stepping up onto the trampoline and back down. If the stepping up and down on the trampoline doesn't work for you, that's okay. You can simply march, okay? So you do what works for you. Okay, we will also be coming down onto the trampoline in a move called the crab torch. I just want to show you a couple of these moves and you'll just be reaching opposite foot, opposite hand there, okay? Other than that, I'll be able to take you through the moves. We'll have a plank jack with our hands on the rebounder or you could be on the floor. So again, just make sure you have the space around. Okay, so we are going to get started here. I'm going to start the timer and our, we'll get going. We have 10 seconds. Our first move looks like this. You'll be clapping underneath your leg lift, just like that, okay? So we have three seconds. Two, one, go, clap, clap, okay. So just like that, we're in the first circuit. Think of pulling your navel in to lift your knees up. Yes, yeah, so we're just alternating knee lifts and tapping our hands underneath our legs. If that doesn't work for you, just lift your legs, okay? You do what works for you. I like to add the little hand clap because it ensures that I'm gonna see my legs a little bit higher than I otherwise might. Okay, pull your abs in. Navel pulls in tight to lift your knees up and. Yes. Beautiful. You have 10 seconds and then you'll get your 15 second rest, 15 second recovery. And we'll go ahead and move two of the first circuit. Yes. Breathe in. Okay, you have 15 seconds. Now we're coming up to our alternating step up. So you'll take step and step. This first time through, I'm going to leave with my right foot. Second time through, I'll leave my left. Two, one, go. Okay, so you're just alternating step ups right here. Nice work. Step into your heel. Yes, that's going to help activate your glutes on the step up. So try to put the weight in your heel that you're stepping up on and feel the back of your thigh engage. So back of your thigh contract. Navel still pulls in. Because every time you step up in your rebounder, there'll be some instability, okay? 15 seconds. Yes. Keep going. Breathing heavy with you. This is already moved two. In five seconds, we're going right back up to the trampoline. Okay, that's it. Make your up to the trampoline and you have 12 seconds of recovery. You're going into pendulum next, which looks like this. And you can keep your hands on your hips or Bring your upper body into it. Three, two, one, go. Pendulum. Yes. Okay. So if you bring your upper body into it, your heart rate's gonna get even higher. Whenever you have lower and upper body together, your heart rate will skyrocket. I have a little side bend going on, which will work our obliques. You're also gonna work your outer thighs. Yes. Nice work. Under 25 seconds. 20 seconds right here. Move three, circuit one, round one. You've got this. Remember, each circuit just two times through. 
So get to know these moves this first time and then really perfect it and get into the motion the second time. Five seconds, three, two, one, down. Okay, 15 seconds and now we're going into sprints. You could high knees if you'd like, but I'm gonna full out sprint, okay? And this one, 45 seconds, you got it, okay? Three, two, one, go. Okay, you're here for 45 seconds. And actually, a little surprise for you today. The fourth move of each circuit is a sprint. So get used to it. And the second time through, when we get to the fourth move, fourth move we're gonna sprint for one minute. Okay, you've got this. I'm with you. You are tough and strong. You will do it. I promise. 20 seconds. Maybe a little faster. Maybe if you're doing the high knees, you come to the sprints with me. Abs are in. Pulling you. Chest is proud. Lift from the center of your chest. Find your nice posture. Let your arms help you too. Propelling you into the sprint motion. Two. One. Okay. 15 seconds. We're going right back from the top. So remember, first move looks like this. Okay? And then we're going into the step ups. You've got this. If you need a sip of water, this is when you do it. Four, three, two, one, go. Clap, lift. Yes. So your arm motions, similar to a jumping jack. Okay? So you're using your shoulders. You're also going to use your back, your chest, and your lower body, of course. So I like to think of scooping my abs in and away from the thigh that's lifting. It's just help, full mental, to go there to that point. It'll help you engage your abdominal region, your powerhouse. And that's what keeps you upright on the rebounder. Eight seconds, and you never see this move again in this workout. Yes, one more each way. Great job, okay. So do a few bounces here, then you're making your way off of the rebounder, okay? Yes, I'm stopping it side to side. I'm gonna lead with my left this round. Three, two, one, go. Up, up, down, down. Yes, okay, do whatever you'd like with your upper body. If you wanna put them on your hips, you can. Our heart rate skyrocketing right here. Abs are engaged, especially when you step up as the unstable surface. Core is in tight. Let's do this. You have less than 25 seconds. Last step ups here. No more step ups in this entire workout. So squeeze these glutes, press in with your heels. Little hinge forward. Eight more seconds. Yes, five more seconds. Then we're going to our pendulum but you get your break. Don't forget that. Last one, okay. So you have 12 seconds left in your rest. Then we're going into the pendulum. Remember, if it looks like this, you can either put your hands on your hips or add your upper body, whatever feels good. Three, two, one, go. Okay, 45 seconds. Move three, circuit one, round two. So your final move here. Can you pull your abs in a little bit tighter? They go up towards your rib cage. Can your chest go proud? Yes, shoulders away from your ears. Arms are in that nice gold pose position. Squeezing your glutes in and around your thighs. Yes. 20 seconds. We're working our body sideways, which I love that. Because in our everyday lives, we usually walk forward. Maybe backwards, sometimes sideways, but not really. So this is a great way to work our body in different directions, okay? Five seconds, four, three, two, one more each way, okay. Final move, one minute sprinting, right here. You have 10 seconds. Remember, after this one minute sprint, you have one minute of active recovery. So you can do it, three, two, one, go. Okay, one minute right here. This is a move, you're gonna do it four more times today. So get used to it. I love sprinting on my rebounder. So nice and easy on the joints. 30 seconds. Give it all you've got. Rip cage closed. Chest is proud. 25 seconds. Yes. Move your arms. Chest and back. Pumping. Shoulders here. Breathe. Yes. 15 seconds. Can your navel pull a little bit tighter? Can 
You know, legs go a little bit faster. Oh wait, no, we've got a minute here. I was counting this down to 45 seconds. We have 20 seconds now. No worries, you were just pushing extra hard. But now we have another 15 seconds. Yes, you've got it, I promise. Whew. Push, 10 seconds, that's it. I was almost gonna cut it short. No, no, fast for five seconds. Go, breathe, two, one. Okay, you have one minute. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Then we have one minute here. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go into my back for shuffle. Nice. Bring my heart rate down a little bit. Whew. Remember, not huge sips of water because otherwise the water will just move around line in your stomach. So one circuit done. We have two more circuits. Okay. Just like that. Different moves, but we will end with our sprint. will be our fourth move in both of the final circuits. Okay. Yes. Breathe. Smile. You still have 20 more seconds of your recovery. 20 more seconds right here. Your heart rate should be coming down. Okay, our first move I'm gonna show you, squat jumps, which looks like this. Squat, hop, squat, hop, okay. You ready? You have five seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, 45 seconds, circuit two. You should feel refreshed after that nice, a little recovery there. One minute, sure did go by fast though. Okay, so just a nice squat hop. You're not going very deep in this squat, just a little bit. Weight goes in your heels, 25 seconds right here, and you pop right back up. Round one, circuit two. Yes, you're getting stronger, building muscle. 10 seconds right here. Whew. We're almost to that 10 minute mark. So you're almost a third of the way through. Okay, 15 seconds. Recover. Next one, front punches. So you'll have a little bigger bounces and alternating front punch. Okay, we're at that 10 minute mark. Third of the way through. You got it. Hands on guard. Ready? Go. Punch. Punch. Okay. So bounces. A little bit bigger than the basic bounce. Nice. Yes. I love alternating those squat jumps with punches. We're still bouncing. I'm gonna give the lower body a little bit of a break. The squat hops, intense. Nice. Heart rate's still high though. You still have that soft bend in your knees, just like when you're doing the basic bounce. You're still contracting your glutes, tailbone points down, and your core's engaged. 10 seconds. Yes. After this move, you have 15 seconds break, and then we're going down into that crab, opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay, you have 15 seconds. I'm gonna show you the move. You're coming down. You can do this on the floor if that's more comfortable. You're coming into crab, and you'll just reach tap, opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay, I'm staying here. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, 45 seconds. At first, this might feel like a breather. It's gonna get tough. Pull your navel away from your thighs every time. You're also gonna feel this in your arms. Try to keep your glutes, your hips in the same spot. So try not to rock there. Try to rotate and twist from your obliques. See if you can put your mind there. Scoop your abs up and in. Yes, nice work. If you're doing this on the rebounder, it also will challenge your balance. Remember, anytime you're doing a move on the rebounder, it challenges your balance because it's unstable, okay? So same move on the floor, same move on the rebounder will be unstable. One more. Great job. Okay. You're here. Next move. You know what it is. Sprint. This time it's only 45 seconds, but this is our fourth move already. Wow. Three, two, one, go. Okay. You're here. Only 45 seconds. You just did this for one minute, so this is going to feel like a break push through. This also means that you are moving into a round two of circuit two. You're getting so close. Yes. Nice work. Pump your arms. You have 25 seconds. Maybe go a little bit faster. Maybe it pulls up. Try not to hunch in your shoulders. So make your shoulders are back. Breathe. Smile. 15 seconds. 
You can and you will. You'll do this. I promise. A little faster, a little stronger. Go, go, go. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Okay, back from the top. Jump squats. Okay, we've got it. 10 more seconds. Start to bring your feet a little bit wider if you're not already. You have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go, squat hop. Okay, so abs are in. You're landing on your heels, a little toe ball heel. And then when you finally get to that low spot, weight is in your heels, okay? So you're pressing off with your entire foot. 30 seconds, which is amazing. That's what's so wonderful about rebounding is you're working your feet the entire time. And guess what? Our feet is our stability. Our feet is our base. It's what grounds us. So we need to make sure that we're keeping our feet healthy. Yes, breathe 10 seconds and then no more squat jumps the entire time. Let's do this. Legs are on fire. Last one, okay. 15 seconds, heart rate's skyrocketed. You can always drop some water, 10 seconds when it's alternating front punches. Woo! You ready? You have five seconds, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, 45 seconds. Front punch right here. Everything engaged. Core and tight. Yes, smile through this. Move two, circuit two. Round two, wow, that's amazing. You've come this far. You're not gonna give up on yourself. Not now, not ever. Yes, you're just about halfway done. You have 15 more seconds right here. Yes, 10 seconds, you've got it. And you have a 15 second break and then we're going down into the crumbs. Nice work. One more each way. There we go. Okay. Here's your little break. Rocking side to side or whatever you need to do. We have eight more seconds. I'm going to start to make it down into my position. Hands back, fingers forward, feet hip width, hips lift, ready, go. Tap and tap. Okay. So remember, pull your core in so tight that it tries to prevent your hips and your glutes from rocking. They stay stable. Square it off, okay? You're smiling. You're almost through. You have one more move in the circuit. Then you get your break. And then just one final circuit to finish us off, okay? And you're over halfway through. You're past that halfway point. So mentally, go to reconnect, recommit while you're here. Yes. So focus back on your why and what you're doing here with me. One more each way. Okay, back up to standing. You have 15 seconds. If you need a sip of water before going to the sprint, go for it. Okay, 10 more seconds, one minute sprint. Yes, you can and you will. You have five seconds, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, you're here for a minute. You can sprint, you can high knees. You can even take this to a march if you'd like. Those are your three levels. You do what works for you, no judgment. Do what feels good for your body today in this moment, which could be different than yesterday, which is totally fine. Yes, a little faster. And yeah, pull in a little tight. You have 20 seconds. Yes. No, you don't. We're here for a minute. Keep doing that. Oh, and I'm not gonna short you. Nope. I'll let you know. No worries. A little faster, arm strong. Now 20 seconds, right here. We're not gonna push through that. 15 seconds, and then you get one minute break. So see, a minute on, and you get your minute off. Breathe through this. Five seconds, faster, stronger. Three, two, one. Okay, you have one minute. Grab my sip of water, don't know about you, but I'm ready for it. Okay, in this circuit, we will be coming down to our plank jack, okay? You take your active recovery, breathe, that is involved in this final circuit, okay? Just wanna let you know, so make sure you have space. You can have your hands on your rebounder or on the floor, whatever feels good, totally up to you. You will be in that nice plank position, navel will be pulled up. 
You still have just about 30 seconds here. So breathe, keep moving though. Okay, don't sit down. You can step off your rebound and get your water, but don't sit down. Okay, we have 15 more seconds. I'm grab another sip of water before we get started. Okay. Here we are. We are in it. Okay, five seconds. We're going to jumping jacks. Three, two, one, go. Okay, jumping jacks. Just like that. We're in it. Nice work. You can always tap side to side as needed. Okay, but try to do the full. If you can, remember, you want to push a little bit past your comfort zone. Okay, not so much that it becomes miserable. Just enough so you can change your body, change your mind become a little bit stronger in both areas, okay? Remember, exercise not only strengthens your body, but also strengthens your mind, because it helps you see what you can do. Yeah, shoulders away from your ears. You're pressing your arms up with your shoulders, pulling down with the upper back, and your legs are pressed down with your outer thighs and with your inner thighs. But remember, muscle connection here. Three, two, one. Okay, we're coming down into plank jacks. I'm gonna show you, you can come down with me if you'd like. My hands will be on the rebounder. My legs will go back. Abs are pulled in. Press into the floor your rebounder. Space between your shoulder blades and then just plank jack in and out. Okay, in three, two, one, go. Okay, 45 seconds right here. Yes. Okay, I love to do planks, plank jacks, mountain climbers, all of that with my hands on the rebounder. So I feel like it really cushions my wrists a little bit. Nice, okay, abs are pulled up and away. You have space between your shoulder blades, so you're pressing into the floor rebounder. Yes. Abs are in tight. Less than 20. Let's do this. Gaze a little bit past your fingertips. No chin to your chest, so keep space between chin and chest, okay? We'll help you get oxygen to your working body here. Yes. Find muscle in your entire body. Full body move. Two, one, done. Okay, back up to your rebounder. Next move. You recover, crisscross jack. Looks like that. Okay? You have seven seconds. Bring your feet wide, arms to a T. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I am alternating which foot goes in front and which hand goes on top. But remember, you don't have to. Do what works for you here. Yes, this is the circuit of jacks. It's amazing. After this though, you have your final move of circuit three and it's a sprint. Yes, press out with your outer thighs, squeeze in with your inner thighs. Just like you're doing, shoulders away from your ears. And you have 15 more seconds here. Then you'll have your recovery, then you're gonna sprint. And then we're coming down to the final round, circuit three, final round of the entire workout. Ready, last one. Okay, 15 seconds. Maybe you need a sip of water. Then we're going into our 45 second sprint right here. Woo, we got this. You've got this. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, second to last sprint. Right here, right now. Yes, this is your fifth sprint of the workout and you're staying strong, you're staying powerful. Yes, press down into your rebounder, 30 seconds. Move a little bit faster, pump your arms. Yes, you are already over 20 minutes into this workout. You're over two thirds of the way done. So you're not gonna give up on you. I'm not gonna give up on you. Stay with me, 15 seconds. Then we're taking these final four moves from the top. Yes, nice work. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. If you need some water, grab it. We're going into jumping jacks here in 10 seconds. Remember, if you need to take the modification, that's okay, do so. You've been rebounding for 22 minutes. Three, two, one, go. Jumping jacks. Okay, 45 seconds right here. Nice, press out with your inner thighs, squeeze in with your inner thighs. Think shoulders, chest, back of your upper body. And of course, your core is engaged. Nice work, 30 seconds. Final time through all these moves. Yes, you can and you will succeed. You're stronger than you give yourself credit, always. Yes, okay, you have 15 seconds. 
Shoulders down. You have 10 seconds. Remember, we're going into those plank jacks, but you'll have 15 second recovery. So if you need to grab water, do so. Three, two, one. Okay, you recover. I'm gonna make my way into my plank. I'm gonna hold my plank till it's time to go. So you have 10 seconds. I'm gonna hold here in my plank. Okay, you have five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, plank jack. Okay, so shoulders over wrists. Fingers wide, so you have a nice wide base here, okay? Space between your shoulder blades, abs pulled up and in. So think tucking your hips under towards your rib cage, up and under. Smile, chin up your chest. You have 25 seconds. Yes, in and around our thighs at work right here. 20 seconds. And you have two more moves after this. Yes, breathe. Smile, 10 seconds. Let's go, you're strong. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Okay, you ready? Crisscross jacks, you have 10 seconds here. Start to bring your feet wide. Breathe, five seconds, arms out. You ready? Two, one, go, crisscross. Okay, final two moves. This move and one more. Yes. You can succeed. You can do this. I promise. <sighs> Breathe through it. Squeezing in inner outer thighs. <sighs> you have 25 seconds. Then we're gonna have our minute sprint. <sighs> and you smile through it. Smile through it all. Because you're doing something amazing and you've made it this far. You should be very proud. 30 minutes on the rebounder is tough, but you're stronger and you're tougher for it. Five more seconds, and then we're going into our 15 second recovery and then our minute sprint. Okay, you ready? Recover here, you have 10 seconds, and then commit to what you're doing. Maybe you try sprinting, and if you have to dial it down, that's okay. Remember, no harm in that. Three, two, one, go. Okay, you're here for a minute. Yes, abs are in, scooped up and in. <sighs> nice work, yes, keep going. Keep pumping through and you breathe and you smile. After this, you have a minute recovery and then we have a little bonus move if you'd like to join us. We have a two minute sprint to end this drop. Totally up to you, this will end your circuit work. But if you'd like to, if you'd like to continue, we get one minute break and then join me for a two minute sprint. Okay? Totally up to you. Yes. Okay. Keep going. 15 more seconds, maybe faster, stronger. You've already done a one minute sprint. So what's another minute? I know you can and you will. And what's another couple minutes of your workout? Okay, so you have one minute right here. I'm getting my sip of water. And then we will go into our final two minutes sprinting. If you'd like, otherwise, circuit workout's done. You, did, you would have done three circuits. Each circuit two times through, which is amazing. Your top, our heart rate's skyrocketed. But if you'd like to stay here with me, we're gonna go into one more final little bonus push. Yes, we have 30 more seconds here to recover. So wherever you're recovering, get your mind right. Okay. And you smile, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. 15 more seconds of recovery. And then we're gonna go into our two minute sprint here. You ready? I'm with you. We're gonna do this together. It's gonna be tough. This is where we're gonna finish off. Go, okay, two minutes on the clock, right here. Yes, this will finish our workout. This will finish us strong. Remember, you could always take high knees or march. If you simply wanna stay with us, you can. Remember, you don't quit. You might get knocked down, but you get back up. You might have to take a break, but you get back in it. Yes. Okay, 
We've got two minutes. That's nothing of our entire day. That's nothing of a 30 minute workout. Okay, keep going. Yes, nice work. Okay, you have a minute and 15 right here. That's it. You've come this far. You're coming up to your final minute. And know that you pushed yourself till the end. Know that you've done your best. You've given it your all. Okay, last minute. Last minute. Abs are in, chest is proud. We're gonna check your form. Arms are moving back and forth, slicing through the air. Not out to the side, keep it in. That's what's gonna help you. Woo! Yes, 45 seconds. Push, push, stronger, faster. You got this. Woo! You're with me. We're in it together. Trust me, this is not easy for me. It's tough. But I'm here with you. And I'm completing this because we're together. We're in it. 30 seconds. Yes. Keep going. Don't stop now. No, don't stop. That finish line is right there. You versus you. 20 seconds. Feeling this in my entire body. 15. That's it. Then you get your recovery. 10 seconds right here. Faster, stronger. Push it out. Everything you have left. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. You did that. Okay, boxer shuffle right here. Yes. Hands on guard. Take it side to side. Nice work. Stay with me for just a little bit longer. You want to make sure that your heart rate comes down. Our heart rate skyrocketed. So make sure you bring them down. Everything's still engaged here in your core, okay? Shifting weight from side to side. Keeping your chest proud and your shoulder open. Stay with me. A little bit longer. Just slowly coming down. In 10 seconds, we'll go into the basic bounce, okay? After that, you just really want to make sure that you recover. You cool down here. Three, two, one. Okay, basic bounce right here. You have a soft bend of your knees. You're lifting your heels ever so slightly. Press the balls of your feet into the rebounder. Abs are in tight. So we're back to the basic bounce, back to the beginning move. This is where we're gonna end, right here. Bring your arms down by your side, take a deep breath and arms to go overhead. And exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale. Make sure that your heart rate's coming down. You do not want it to stay spiked up. You want it to come down slowly. So if you need to stay here and bounce a little bit longer, do so. Let's start to step aside to side if you're ready for that. If you need a little more bouncing, totally fine. Listen to your body. Whew. Breathing heavy, I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed that workout. I thought it was fun. Helped it go by really fast. I like the circuit way of doing it. So let me know in the comments below if you like this style of workout as well. Make sure that you like and subscribe. More workouts coming your way every week. And have a great rest of your day, everyone. Goodbye.